So this is one of our, uh, here is, tell me. No. It, tell me where you are. T tell them, tell them who you are and what you do. Y'all, look at the support we're getting from all over. I want you to listen to this gentleman here. No, we basically, we're a barber college. We're a barber college in Duncanville, Oak Cliff. Dooney's Barber and Beauty Academy. But we're here to support. We can't hear you. Nice we got, no, we got six foot distance. Yeah, so we, got, we got six feet. Well, Doing this Barber and Beauty Academy, we are in Duncanville off 20 and Copper Hill, right next to the biggest beauty supply house in the country, which is Jenny's. But we're here to support mm -hmm. Shelly. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We are two. Thank you. And all of this. Um, we talked about this in Dallas when we were um, trying to get tell Jenkins he needs to go when we were in front of his office the last time. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, we talked about coming together as one, no matter where we are, what part of any city that we're in, we come together as one because we all have rights and that's what this is all about. So I'm so happy to have support from all over the place. It means so much, you guys. It's a little, no, it's a lot overwhelming. But I'm proud to uh, call you guys new friends. Thanks so much. And you said you have a barber, uh, a barber beautician from Odessa right now as well? We do. Do you want to come speak and say why you came and what was happening before um, you came out? Well, I moved my business to Odessa in January, so I had about six weeks to build a clientele before the bottom fell out of everything. Oil filled and then the virus. I'm trying to feed my kids. There's no unemployment. My business is too new for SBA. And um, I don't qualify for anything else. And I'm getting hungry, but the kids are eating and I'm going day by day and not eating because I don't want to take food out of their mouths. And I saw her. Right and I knew, I followed it, I was on this site, and I followed it, and the next day, the armed guards were out here, yesterday, <laughs> and I said, do they need stylists, and they were like, yes, and I couldn't wait for any information, so I called up here immediately, and I cut hair until I could afford to get hair, and I'm here. I started to say, who needs a haircut? Um, yeah, so this is, this is the reason. This is the reason why we, and she's just one of millions of people. I mean, it's, it's sad, you guys. And so when people say something like, um, oh, so you think it's worth someone's life for a haircut? It's not about the freaking haircuts. It's about this. It's about this. And it's essential to her to feed her kids. That's right. That's right. Try to keep her from doing that. Not here, you won't. <laughs> Obviously. Nobody was going to stop me, but I found you and I found I'm my so happy people. you found us. I'm so happy. I needed it. I well, needed the uplift. You are very welcome. And, uh, and you're awfully cute. You are so yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, isn't it cute? Yeah. She's so cute. And what about you, Mr. Kevin? Come here, please. <laughs> so, this is funny. I don't know if it's funny or not. Kevin has the heart of gold, and I just met him. <laughs> he was out here telling the reporters, you're not social distancing. He was like, I mean, this man was so worked up. So worked up. In a good way. He was mad, you know? And I came and I'm like, child. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna have to take a breath, take a breather, you know, and um, tell them tell them what was going on. Why were you feeling that way? Well, I've been a hairstylist for 15 years, and this is my only source of income. And you know, I have built people calling me all the time about paying bills. You know, my bills are all past due, and I didn't have any way to make money. And I was like, well, I don't know what you want me to do. I cannot work. So. Whenever, that's why I was like, I saw her on the news and I was like, I'm gonna go work there because not only I'm gonna go work there, I'm gonna go support her first, see what this is all about. And then I decided I'm gonna go work there. And so I went yesterday and got my stuff out of my salon. The salon, I, I talked to them and tried to get them to open, they wouldn't. So I told them and they said, are you gonna leave permanently? And I said, yeah, because if I would rather work for somebody who's gonna support the stylist, my clients are willing to drive, and if there's anybody that needs their hair done, I do cut and color. So, He's very good, I saw you very good. So, come see me, um, but yeah, that's why I came here. 
And so, and I totally support everything that she's doing. In fact, I helped to organize a rally. We're gonna be at Dealey Plaza on yes. Monday, uh, no, on Saturday the 9th at 11.30. Saturday okay. night Daily Plaza. And she's gonna come speak. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> did, did you know that? I mean, you, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm here for y'all. I'm, I'm here. We're not, and we all know this doesn't end after the businesses are opened, right? Because we got a lot more work to do. That's, that's, yeah. So we'll see.